the Shang Dynasty, 1766 to 1122 BC. The earliest civilizations in China from about 3200 BC grew up on the banks of the three largest rivers, the Huanghe, the Changjiang, and the Shijiang. Like the people of Sumer, Egypt, and the Indus Valley, Chinese farmers relied on the country's rivers for transportation and water to grow their crops. Paddy fields needed floods in springtime to help the rice grow. But the Chinese also faced two dangers, major floods and the devastating raids by tribes from the north and the west. Early cultures. The first small towns appeared around 3000 BC during the Longshan period around the Huanghe, otherwise known as the Yellow River, in the north. According to tradition, Huangdi, the Yellow Emperor, was the first emperor from around 2700 BC. The first dynasty was that of the Xia, who ruled for four centuries from 2200 BC. Yu, its founder, is credited with taming the rivers by building dikes to stop flooding and also irrigation channels. Tang and the Shang. The earliest dynasty we have evidence for was the Shang, founded by Emperor Tang. The Shang ruled North China for more than 600 years. They lived in a string of cities along the Huanghe with a capital at Anyang. The city had many large palaces and temples built mainly of carved wood. The Shao dynasty replaced the Shang in 1122 BC. The Shang people grew millet, wheat, and rice, and also mulberries for feeding silkworms, from which they produced silk. They kept cattle, pigs, sheep, dogs, and chickens, and hunted deer and wild boar. The Shang used horses to draw plows, carriages, and chariots. Early in their history, they used cowrie shells as money, later switching to bronze. They were skilled in working bronze and jade, and made highly decorated practical and religious objects. Chinese Writing Around 1600 BC, the Shang developed the earliest forms of Chinese calligraphy, a pictorial writing in which each letter represents a whole word. The Chinese script we know today evolved from Shang writing. The Shang worshipped their ancestors, who were seen as wise guides for their way of life and used oracles to help them make decisions. Bronze. Bronze is a mixture of copper and tin, which when polished looks like gold. The Shang became strong through their bronze working, since it was a hard metal with many uses in tools, household items, and weapons. Bronze was also used for adornments, artistic, and religious items. It was cast in clay molds carved with patterns. Across the world, bronze represented the technological breakthrough.